I do want to say before we even start uh, this interview, uh, thank you so much. You're one of the nicest guys that I've ever worked with, and I, you're very funny, obviously, and we're going to get to all the fun jokes and stuff, but seriously, you that just... Is, you know you, that's bull. <laughs> I'm a no, dick. No, you are not. You, uh, you are. I just want to say you really are, and thank you for doing You did me a solid. You did uh, an episode of Password. Yes. And that this was Tuesday? This Tuesday? Yeah. I'm Guys, very excited. Dude, wait till you see that Kiki Palmer. That's exactly right. She's, That's the secret. That's the secret ingredient. She is a Kiki. comedy alien. She makes she's, no she's, she's so, unbelievable, right? She's pisses me off. She's so funny. <laughs> Makes I'm you like, mad. she's 28 years. Of, yeah, 28. Yeah, she's the greatest. I was still like, oh, I should get a keg. And uh, <laughs> yeah, no, she's got it figured she, out, man. Oh, she is. She's got it figured out. She is so funny. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you again for doing that, though. You're, thank you're you a good man. Me. You always I would do us love a to solid. come back. Yeah. And host it. Thank you. <laughs> you just that said how great, great she was. was great. Oh, wait. You well, look at that. Like, they're into it. No, they're not oh, into it. Great. You keep asking them. Great. Uh, let's, uh, you were telling me backstage that you just uh, came back from London, which I do love London. You went with the family? Oh, no, I didn't go. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, yes, I, this is, I'm sorry. Yes, I, I have cousins that uh, got married. Uh, not cousins. They're, I mean, they're, they're not related. Wow. They're royalty. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so ha ha happy wedding, uh, oh. Brendan and Hannah. Uh, yeah. But uh, yes, I, I, it was it was beautiful. It was great. Uh, British weather it was 104. Uh, yeah, I was like, you people live like animals. But I uh, <laughs> I drove for the first time ever on the left side of the road. Does that make you nervous? Yeah, it was like training a cat. Uh, you, you know, it was all wrong. I felt like I was playing. Grand Theft Auto, uh, like with a mirror, and <laughs> I was so nervous. And I was, and my kids were like, "Can you turn on the music?" I'm like, "No, I'm trying to keep us alive." And uh, exactly, there's like, and then I got good at it. Then I was just like, "Watch this left turn," and we're staying over here. And uh, so then my, I feel like my final test was I drove through Trafalgar Square and Piccadilly Circus. Oh my goodness! I had a couple of beers and no, uh, no, 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 that's not. Yeah. Yes, I was blasting Oasis, and I was just like, <laughs> hey, that's what you do in London, yeah, of yeah. course. How old are the kids now? You're, I don't know. Uh, they are... <laughs> the ballpark, they're, ballpark, they're, ballpark. They're uh, 14 and 17. Yeah. And you know what teenagers love? Sightseeing. <laughs> uh, no interest yeah. at all? They, we took them to Stonehenge, and they were like, my 14-year-old was like, wow. <laughs> Look. At this pile of rocks. Thank you. <laughs> this is really great. Wow, I see they get their sarcasm and, yeah. from dad. Yeah, well, then I took him to, we took him to Salisbury Cathedral. Ooh. See, and uh, it's, it's an enormous, it's a beautiful, beautiful church that they, the poor built. And uh, it, my, and my 14 year old again was like, I am not going in there. And I was like, there is no God. No, he didn't say that, but he was like, I don't want to go in there. I'm kidding. He's like, I don't want to go in there. Then you go in there, and he's like, all the former, uh, you know, cardinals or whatever are buried there. It would be like if Lauren Michaels was buried in the SNL stage when he dies. So my, the 14-year-old was like, this is, it is, it's weird. And so the preacher was, he was like, this what? is very weird that they bury people at work. And uh, <laughs> so... So he was like, let's keep it about? moving. They, they, I he, understand. He, yeah, but yeah, so yeah, he's yeah. like, let's keep it moving. And yeah. then my 17-year-old, he's much more, uh, he's mellow, and he's just like, Dad, you always know how to say the wrong thing at the worst time. Yeah. And I was like, yep. That's my kids right That's there. my kids. Uh, you, uh, I saw you were all over the internet, but you know I follow you on the socials too, but you were all over the internet because you did this celebrity softball game. I in, did, at yes. At Dodger Stadium? Yeah, uh, it was, uh, I, the, I thought it was just a local, like, Dodger celebrity game, and it was not. It was for All-Star Weekend. I found out I replaced Rob Lowe, so uh, <laughs> that was a first. And if you had told me when St. Elmo's Fire came out that that would happen, I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm living wow. a dream. And, uh, uh, you look so, good, buddy. I got to say, I got to So, photo. yeah, there's, I, I hit a home run. And, uh, oh, what? look. Yeah, uh, so... <laughs> This is you look not, no 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 no. It was what, what do you mean? It was it was in an in the park home run. As you if you play softball, if you just keep running, someone's gonna make a mistake, and <laughs> the ball was flying all over the place. 
And if so you play, yeah, yeah. I was like, dreams are coming true. And <laughs> oh man, look, there's a Marvel star right there. So it was, I couldn't believe. Yes, it was my, I was, it was better than the birth of my kids, than uh, my marriage. That's not true. And that's not true. I you, like how people are like, oh, that's, yeah. are you being serious? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, yeah, uh, no. <laughs> you were as sarcastic as kids turn out to be. Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, uh, but I, I, I will say that uh, you, you got you're getting buzz off that because that was everywhere. It was you and Bad Bunny, I saw were hanging yes, out together. Yes, I, I found. I, I see. There you go. I'm so old. I didn't. I, they were like Bad Bunny's going to be there, and I'm like, sounds like a Funko Pop. And uh, <laughs> and then he showed up. <laughs> How dare you? No. I just want to say I just got rim shot by an Oscar winner. So uh, that's, true. that's uh, another that's dream right came true. Yeah, that's a dream come true right there. <laughs> another dream. The dreams keep this coming true for John McHale. This is uh, no. And then, but I believe that's how you, and then when I told my 14-year-old, I was like, "Do you know who Bad Bunny is?" Yeah. And he was just like, "Oh." And then he walked out of the room, and I was like, "I guess." I guess you I guess do. You do know who he is. Yeah, uh, you, that happened. Then you're on this show, by the way, which I have not seen yet. A show I know I'm gonna love. Thank you for being honest, though. Because if you were like, oh, I loved it, and I'm like, which part? You'd be like, all of it. Yeah. And uh, I didn't. I have not seen it yet. It's called The Bear. Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I played. Oh, I haven't seen your other show either. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I got things to do. I'll get around. It. Uh, yes. A bunch of rocks, a Stonehenge. Yeah, yeah. no, that's. Uh, uh, it's about uh, the bear. I, I feel like I would. This is made for me because I. I, I, I you love like cooking. I love cooking. I was in that show for three I know, minutes. I know. It doesn't matter. You could be the star. I of really the bear. was, and it, I literally have gotten more uh, response from that than an entire year on a sitcom on CBS. <laughs> I am not kidding. Uh, I, I can't wait to watch it because I know it's. I'm gonna love it. But anyways, I play a horrible person. Congrats on that. Uh, I, I mean the hero. A hero. Uh, let's talk about Celebrity Beef. Celebrity Beef. This is, a big, this is a competition series. You are the host. You are the judge. Can you set this up for everybody? Yeah, this is my TED Talk. And uh, this is an important show, as you'll see. It's very sophisticated. It's basically celebrities cooking and yelling at each other yeah. over some small... Uh, so it's two like celebrity friends, and they just have a little... Uh, I... Some so, yeah, we had, uh, Rachel Harris and Cheryl Hines were on. Cheryl Hines, I saw a clip. Yes, of. and uh, uh, Rachel Harris always uh, changes hotel rooms, and it really makes Cheryl mad. So that's the extent of the argument. It's not like you killed my father. So uh, No, no, it's, it's fun, but it's cooking and it's... Uh, yeah, it's and, screwing around and... Uh, and it's Joel McHale being quick and funny, which you yeah, always you'll are. See. I want to show a clip. Uh, here's Joel McHale and Celebrity Beef. Take a look at this. Okay, now this looks really good. What the hell did you do? First it looked like some sort of farming machine accident. It, it looked first rough, version. like inert. And now it looks absolutely perfect. It goes a little bit to the left, but still. Celebrity Beef airs Tuesdays at 10 p.m. on E! That's Joel McHale. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Zoe Doyle joins us after the break. Stick around, everybody. Hey.